three million Americans back to work in a new industry. Colleges are going to love it because they can teach electrical theory and electronic theory. This is just a stepping stone here. This is a stepping stone for our young population to be able to take this technology and do something different. They can expand and expound on it in leaps and bounds as human, as human beings do with their inventive type of uh, mentality. The creative minds have, that we have. Creative minds, man. Creativity is everything. Yeah, we produce the, we give you the tools to be able to make the first electric cars, full electric, full electric boats. You know, eventually we'll build full electric airplanes and then helicopters. Well, do you see and that? Do you see the I technology do. going there? We do. Once, yeah. once we start producing... 50 years, 100 years, how long? We can do it in 10 years or less. To where you can actually build power electric America, cars, power, power the, world. the entire world. We could probably do it in 5 years with enough money back to behind us. 5 years. You got, you got China every day putting coal fire burned uh, plants generation stations on online. The amount of greenhouse gases going in there is just pumping out in an enormous amount. In enormous amounts into the atmosphere and we have to breathe it. Pollution. Pollution is going to be number one killer. We're going to see species on the world disappear that have been here for thousands of years. And that's all because of us. It's because of us. Greed? What do you think it is that has got us I think it's green in life? Greed, and they say it's necessity. I don't think so. I think it's greed. It's, you think it's necessity to, to, to I mean, do this? No, we destroyed our world is what we're doing. Now we got to clean it up. Why we still have something to clean up? Why we can still make a difference before it is too late? Do you think that we're at a point right now where, I mean, is there like a tipping There's point? There's kind of critical... tremendous amount of damage already done to our environment. It's going to take years to undo it. So you but believe I think it's going to undo it. So if we all get together... We have it. other technologies that we're working on also that will actually make those changes and help make the changes and purify the water and get rid of the pollution off the top of the water. And you want to do that electronically. Not the, the purified water, you get these big plantations that are, that are running these things and they're putting out toxins and waste too. The more boats that we take off the water and the more ships we take off the water that aren't producing any fossil fuels or using fossil fuels, the cleaner the air becomes. The more cars you take off the road that are burning fossil fuels, the cleaner the air becomes naturally. The world will recover. It will recover. It will take time. It will take time. And the fish will recover. It has less pollutants, less toxins in the water. It's like living in a house, living in a cesspool. All you can live living in a cesspool is what we're doing to the ocean right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you know what, what we're doing to our lakes and our rivers. How long are we going to let that happen? We don't need all that. We got boats that are out there running two cycle motors in the lakes. We're putting the oil slicks across the lakes. Doesn't have to be. We've already got the way to make an electric outboard right now. Right this very minute. Right this minute. You can put it into production. You can actually have uh, uh, if you can get a crew together, 600 people is what you want. Now, so as far as that, well, what are your plans? I mean, do you have do you know who you're going to get? How are you going to recruit people? What do you want to do? What kind of people are you looking for? Are you looking for engineers or we're looking for some engineers, but we're looking for workforce. With the four workforce. We already have probably about 15 people right now lined up, ready to go to work, that will actually do this. Everything from programmers, to designers, to architects, to our electrical engineers, to our guys on the floor packaging up the packing plants, to our truck drivers, putting them out of the trucks, sending them to the train, sending them to shipping them, and receiving to send them across. To production on the line, to our mechanics on the line, they're actually fixing our equipment. So yeah, we're going to put 600 people to work. It's going to take an army of people to make this happen. And it's going to take America to back us. To so back what, what do you need? So if, if somebody was looking at this right now, and uh, maybe they want to invest some kind of time, I mean, are you offering jobs? Are you offering, uh, do, you, do you need uh, donation, you know, work to where people just come and they kind of work, you know, free of charge to kind of no, help no us going out? What we need is, we need investors right now. We've applied for federal grants, but they're not coming very fast. Like the federal government, they're so, so quick to give it away when they feel like it. Yet, the people they're giving them the money to is the wrong people. You've got all Chrysler and all these other guys who gave all these millions and millions of dollars to. What have they done? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. All they've done is kept some Americans to work and they've swallowed the rest. AIG swallowed millions and millions of dollars on federal money. 
What happened to that? Guy got slapped on the hand. So one guy took the fall for everybody. You know, that's not fair. The money should go to the small guys like me because the answers are going to come from a small guy like me. It's not the big corporations that are going to make the answers of the world. It's one guy. Or a small group of individuals that are going to make the difference. And this is what we're doing. And this is what we've done. We've already made that difference. And green is right. Green is the right way. And this boat right here, I mean, this is the start. This is step one. The very beginning. And that's long lived, away, far away. It also allows for us to put our resources in other directions. Such as? Well, for instance, we have full electric vehicles and stuff, make them affordable, but less greenhouse gases, which means cleaner air, which also means that there'd be more money in reserve to help starving kids. Get out of here, no gas. <laughs> Why did they say that?